thank you for coming out to Memorial Hall today for our final home match and our designated senior day as we say goodbye to Jay Jackson Panaman and Jimmy Foyley. So at this time we would like to bring our seniors out for their best words uh, to the middle of the mat, please. Today we have uh, Kim Nguyen and the Dean of Admissions, Chris Overhair, uh, presented Che with the uh, black and with uh, Jimmy Coley, uh, his mother and father. So I will say a couple words about the two of these guys because obviously they came in at the same time and they are graduating at the same time. For those that know a little bit about wrestling, uh, it's very ironic that a movie or a documentary just came out. It's called Keepers of the Flame. And Che and Jimmy are the keepers of the flame. Uh, there was a time where uh, this program was, you know, on certain times for everything that was going on uh, as far as uh, health and numbers. And these two guys, were the ones who kept the fire going the whole time so that we were able to get the fire going even stronger now. And we owe everything to these two individuals for their leadership, their dedication, and their persistence in their four years. On top of that, both of these individuals exemplify what it is like to be a student athlete. It's not just about the athletics. It's not just about being a student. They're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And we are very proud to have been around them and uh, we're going to miss both of them. So at this, at this point, I just uh, would like to acknowledge the parents and the presenters. And uh, I will keep these seniors out here for a little bit. So not to draw this out you know, any longer, but they each deserve their individual dues. Uh, when Jimmy Coyley, the first time that I met Jimmy Coyley, uh, I thought that he was, he was too cool for school. I thought that we were going to have a problem. And that didn't happen to be the case. And the more and more uh, that I got to know Jimmy, I realized uh, what a fine young man he was. And he really was one of the more uh, mature, Obviously, older and better kids on the team. Around the same time, obviously, they came in here. I uh, really didn't know what I was uh, getting into. They said that Jimmy was hurt, but if he was wrestling, he was a really good wrestler. So I'm looking at the roster. I'm looking, you know, they tell me about Chad as well. And I knew that he was from Thailand. And I thought, 
thought the first thing to myself is uh, we're probably going to have a uh, problem with the language barrier. And then I talked to him for the first time and I was like, wow, he speaks pretty good English. It was very clear to me right away that Che was a leader. Uh, there was definitely something special about him. I talked about how they're both the keepers of the flame, and they have a lot of parallels and a lot of similarities. But if you look at the two, there's also a big contrast where Jimmy has unfortunately been plagued by injuries even before he got here. And Che has been able to somehow figure out how to not get hurt. Um, and you know, you can you can talk about these polar opposites, but they still were able to bring so much to the table to this program for these young guys. And if you look at our bench today, we've got 13 freshmen, five sophomores, and one junior. These guys have been an extreme role model. And they've had over 3.0 GPAs, over 3.5 GPAs, honor roll, all conference honor roll, amongst many other accomplishments. And I just want to tell you all how lucky I have been to be their coach. And I wish I could be their coach much longer, but I know that these guys are always going to be my guys, they're always going to be our guys, they're always going to be real work guys, and we're going to miss you guys.